All right, my girlfriend gave me an idea of using the lighter on these candles up here, maybe. There's no reason to put it there. God dang it. Can I bash the candles down? There's no reason to put it there. Can I bash Jesus? No. Can I bash my son? I don't think Barney is there. No, can I bash Mary? Barney, go stand by the ta- Wait, what? Barney, go stand by the table. Wait, am I gonna- Perfect. Good boy. Am I- Um. What? Okay. Let's see. The crowbar fits snugly below the base. Here goes. Sorry, Mary. That just happened! That just- That just happened. Uh... You smashed Jesus' mummy, mummy! <laughs> I know, honey, but making sure you get better is more important than a statue, isn't it? Er, uh her. -huh. <coughs> I don't know what that was, but okay. Hmm, still can't get through, mind. The broken statue is blocking the way, and the crowbar is falling down below. Now do I explode it? That's the best idea I've got. Um, shoot Barney again? I'd do anything to stop him from suffering, but not that, surely. Give him the toy car, at least? Eh, yeah, you got a point. Alright. So the only things I have left... ...are the explosive shotgun shells... ...and that box out there on the lake. That's all I have. That's all I have. So, I'm gonna go explore for a bit. I'm going to go test my theory about the shotgun shells, because there's gotta be something with it, because it teases it every single goddamn time I try and do something. So I'm gonna do just that. We're gonna try that, and if not, I'm gonna see if maybe I can take the ladder back from the thing and then go use it to get across the lake, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe there's something in the house I'm still missing. Because I'm me, and I miss a lot of things in games when it comes to it. Breaking the fourth wall a little bit, but you know what? It's, 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 it's the truth. It's the truth. It's a big bad truth, but it's the truth nonetheless. All right, all right, all right. Please, please. You need something to catch it. The car? That won't work. Um, hang on, let me read it again. Let me read it again. Let me read it again. I can use the vice to break open the shotgun shells, but the gunpowder will go everywhere. I need something to catch it. To the house. To the house. To the house. To the house? From the windows to the walls? When the sweat drops down my- no, okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay. Um, the house is all I got. Unless I'm missing something else. Something else near that polar's area could be around. Alright, let's go in the door. Let's see what's around. Hope Barney's doing okay in that damn church. There's puke. Was that there? I'll clean it up in a while. I don't remember that being there before. Um, hmm. Makeshift bed. Um, nothing in there. Gun rack, nothing in there. Uh, cupboard, nothing in there. Cooker? Really? Wait, is that a note on the wall I can pick up? It looks kind of different. I'll see what I can do with that in a bit. I mean, granted, it's just more notes, but... Um, that's right. There's a baking tray here. Perhaps it could be useful. Yes! I know what that's useful for. Now, hang on. There's a note here. Yes, there's plenty of notes. Let me see that. what that one reads. Oh, it's the same ones before. I didn't take that with me? Oh, okay. Torn note. Wait, is this all the notes I've collected? Uh, did I read all these before? I am so confused, but fuck it, I'm going. Okay. I'm confused. But, whatever. Front door. Gonna go take that tray and put it in the shed. And I'm gonna put the shotgun shells on the tray in the shed. And I'm gonna go take that to Mary and I'm gonna blow her up. Because that's the polite thing to do. That dog is completely covered in the snow now. I quit. Too many dog feels. Nope. Nope, not going with them dog feels. Alright, where's the shed at? There it is. Ooh, I thought I lost it for a second. That would have been a little bit embarrassing. Let's go in the door. In the door, Alice. 
Thank you. Alright, then. Let's put this on the device. Yes. Shotgun shells. Yes. Tray of gunpowder. Now then, here's my question. I'm gonna need to back away from that very quickly. How am I gonna back away from that? This is gonna suck, isn't it? More than likely. It's not smart to stand by a tray full of gunpowder from shotgun shells with an electric lighter. Just stand like a foot away from it and just go, oh, this is gonna go well, <laughs> blow your arm off. This ain't no Chinese fireworks show, you know better than that. Wow, that was fucked up. Okay. <laughs> Mommy, listen, it's a robot man. What? Do what? Mission code 1318 2220. 60 degrees, 55 minutes north latitude, 101 degrees, 59 minute east lo longitude. Cycle repeat. Please record information. Recording will terminate. Transmission code 1318. Barney, what did you do to it? I fixed it. But how? I pressed it lots and lots. It's my robot. Quick, mummy, write it down. The robot told you to. Told you to. And no, honey, this isn't for us. This is an old weather devastation, I think. Is it to get rid of the snow? I think they're keeping an eye on the snow, yes. Maybe we can get rid of the snow. Then I won't be sicky anymore. Barney, we... Please record information. Gordon will terminate. Oh, fine. Yay, Alice, you wrote something down. Hang on, I need to drink something quick. <clears throat> okay. There, I've written it all down on the back of this old picture in the book. I'll leave it here in case some buys, in case... Uh, 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 I'll leave it here in case by some chance a genius meteorologist comes along, shall I? The English did not make sense there for a second. Can the meteors stop the snow? Something like that, sweetheart. Anyway, Barney, be a good boy and turn the robot off again. We'll need to get your medicine. Okay, Mom, does this one have bat rays too? No, I don't think so, honey. Thank you, Barney. Come on, then. Alright, let's go walk and blow up Mary. Because that's the nice thing to do, is blow her up. I just if I could just kick her down the hole. I mean, I could probably do that, but... Probably won't let me. I won't be able to lift that. How about homemade gunpowder? Set that right there. And then you go poof. No way, I'll be killed. You can stand on the other side and shoot it. As long as you have good aim, that'll fucking blow it up, won't it? Right? I don't think that would work. <sighs> There's gotta be something with that box. There's gotta be something with that box. I'm gonna go to the box. Because I'm gonna find out what's going on with that box. Door. Maybe I can go to the polars yet? I don't know. We'll keep adventuring. See what we can do. You be good, Barney. I'm gonna go find things to make this go by quicker. Much quicker. Hopefully. One can only dream. That box. I can't reach it and walking on the ice would be dangerous. I don't know how sturdy it is. Okay. 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 Let's look down here by the polar sign. There's a shoe. I could use the shoe still, maybe. No? Okay. Sign! Warning. Polar bear territory. As tempting as it is to ask them for help, I don't think it'd be a good idea. Yeah, you're probably right. Flowers. I already picked some flowers. Satchel! I could put it inside the satchel and toss it around until friction makes it go boom? I don't know. I think there might be something in it. Let's have a look. It's someone's diary. Oh. I'm gonna read that. Okay. I suppose it's okay to read it. Alright. The 12th of March. Lucy and I went foraging for food today. There's still some land that isn't caked with snow and ice. Can you believe that? We found some berries. Weren't sure whether or not we'd eat them, but said it. We were hungry. Oh, sod it! F keep forgetting it's British people. Fuck it. 
We were hungry. We're still here. Second would be a good sign, especially for Lucy. It's been a couple of months now since her parents died, and she's dealing with it scarily well. I'm not sure how she does it, especially with everything else she has to put up with. These days we keep all the doors and windows blocked up as well as locked, just to make sure. I think it comforts her. 15th of March. There was a brief respite in the snowfall yesterday. It took me completely by surprise. I woke up, looked out the window, and there was nothing falling. As the minutes ticked on, I foolishly let myself believe it might finally be over. That we might be able to rebuild and move on with our lives. But no. An hour or so later, it began again, heavier than I've seen it in some time. Lucy slept through the whole thing, and I didn't have the heart to tell her about what she just about it when she woke up. Damn it. 26th of March. This week has been difficult. We're trying not to burn through our supply of tinned food, but we're getting hungry every day, so it's difficult to keep up the willpower. Occasionally, we get out and try to find some extra food, and sometimes we do, but it's so cold that all we want to do is return to the indoors to feel comfortable again. Doesn't help how picky we have to be, either. Lucy remains incredibly strong, though. It's quite remarkable. She truly is an inspiration. She just gets on with life as if it were the most normal existence ever. I guess things were never really normal for her. There's so many pages! 12th of April. I've not been writing much recently. I haven't found the strength. Poor Lucy's been looking after me when I have my darker moments, and I feel sorry for her. It's not as if she doesn't have her own shit to deal with. We're trying to properly ration now. It's been too long since the authorities got the best food shipment to people. Weeks. We talk about going to the nearest zone, but it's a fair distance. And we need our strength. Could we even get in? Lucy says we can thanks to, we can thanks to her, but I'm not sure. I keep wondering if this will ever end. 16th of April. That was scary. We had a surprise visit last night, from who we assume was a small group of the polar bears. They didn't say so outright, but since they were... But since they threw a rock through one of our windows and tried to smash up our barricades with a baseball bat, it's probably a safe assumption. We hid in Lucy's bedroom. They didn't come in, but they shouted us from outside. They said they'd be back. That we're being selfish? Why? What right do they have to threaten us? I'm angry and scared. 22nd of April. I went out to find more food on, the own di on my own today. Lucy said she wasn't feeling too well. While I was out, I could have sworn I heard her scream. It might have been someone else, of course, but I just got this feeling that it was her. When I got back, I asked her about it, but she just looked confused and said she had no idea. She did say she... She did say she's feeling a bit better. It's so hard to read that bottom line. God. Though, so it's a relief. At least the medicine supplies are still going strong. 23rd of April. I can't believe it. I just can't. 24th of April. Still in shock. Woke up yesterday. Went downstairs. Sat around for a while. Decided I should wake Lucy up, so I went to her room and knocked. No answer. But the door was slightly ajar. I went in and she was gone. Left me a note. Said she's heading to the zone. Without me. I'm holding her back. I don't believe it. We talked about this so much. I even encouraged her to go. Why leave like this? 28th of April. Increasingly sure this wasn't Lucy's doing. She wouldn't have. She had no reason to vanish. It's been set up, I'm sure. It's the Polars, or whoever else it was that came by. They had it all planned, I'm positive. Lucy's valuable to them, which means she still be alive. 2nd of May. That's it. I'm going. Going to face them head on. I'll try to talk, to reason with them, but I'll go armed. I'd never met Lucy three months ago, but she became my everything. 
They can't get away with taking her from me. Well, that was a find. Well, I, I, yay. Okay. Still doesn't help me light up a fucking fire though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find that now. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Shit. 